Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at what kind of range can we squeeze out of a Mach E. Is it 200, 300, 400? Well, let's take a look. The EPA's rating for the vehicle for the extended range with only rear wheel drive is 305 miles. So far we've charged the vehicle up only a couple of times to 100% but we have not seen anything close to 300 displayed on the dashboard of the vehicle. The first charge was 260 miles, the second full charge was 284 miles displayed on the dashboard. So before I freak out of what the heck is going on, it's time to do a test. Several good people already posted normal driving ranges for these vehicles, so in my video we're gonna do a hypermiling test. I wanna see what is the maximum that we can squeeze out of it. So to get started, we charge up to 100% yet again, and if we take a look at the dashboard, we can see that the car felt like displaying a 275 mile range today. Alright, we're gonna have the AC off, the radio off, we're gonna make sure we use eco-friendly whisper mode to drive, we're gonna have one pedal drive on to maximize regenerative braking, and needless to say, slow driving. This will help us maximize the range of the vehicle. Reset the trip counter and let's get going. So for just one more second let me emphasize here that this is very slow driving. I'm used to driving a Prius on a day-to-day -day basis and driving in this manner even for me it is annoying. Okay, So no snappy accelerations. On the highway we're gonna keep it nice and slow. So by no means you should take this as the normal driving range of the vehicle. You would drive like this every day, you would go crazy. Okay, here we are testing for a maximum. Considering that this test took over 11 hours to complete, I'm pretty sure nobody wants to sit here and watch us drive for that long. Therefore, I will simply sum up some of the main stages along the way. If you would like to pause the video and verify the data, please go ahead. But meanwhile, I will highlight the discrepancy between the miles driven and the range displayed by the vehicle. For example, at 87%, you can see that we already drove 68 miles, but the range of the vehicle displayed on the dash only dropped by 23. The low battery warning appeared with 15% of charge and 50 miles of range remaining. Alright, final score time. At 9% battery remaining, we have 31 miles displayed on the dash and we have driven a total of 350.3 miles. Adding these up, this will give us a total mileage range of the vehicle being at 381.3. Alright, let's analyze our data on a chart. In the top left corner we can find a table where we see all the data points that we have collected. The first column is the percentage state of the battery, the second is the range displayed on the dash, and the third is the actual miles that we have driven while we were performing our test. On the chart we can see two lines, both nice and linear, fairly predictable. The blue one shows how our range displayed on the dash was dropping, while on the orange shows how we were gaining miles as we were depleting our battery. At the bottom of the orange uh, line we can see an equation. We can use this to project and see what kind of mileage range we would have gotten if we continued to 0% of charge. And from this we can find that it would be 385 miles. Alright, there you have it folks. We have our results for our hypermiling test. 381 miles if we added up the miles left and the miles driven and 385 miles if we project it with a chart. Just to be conservative and make sure we stay on the safer side, we're gonna announce as the official result of this test as being 381 miles. Full disclosure, 
our test wasn't perfect, so if you want to beat our score, I'm sure you can. Here is how to do it. For us, it was 100 degrees outside, so we had to use AC even if it was at its absolute minimum. We drove some at night, therefore we used headlights. Hands free driving is important, so I had my wife and daughter in the car to help filming, which added extra weight. And not breaking it up into several days will also improve your mileage. Here you can see hypermiling versus normal energy use as it was displayed by the vehicle. Well, thank you for watching everybody. This wraps it up for us. Make sure you like and subscribe and have a great day.